We're not all descended from the Puritans. No? There was another colony 30 miles from Plymouth. It's not on the maps today. Merrimount, it was yeah. called. All right, you mentioned in your book. The colony where anything goes, went. There was booze. There was booze. There was fornication. There was music. There was. They even. Uh, they, 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 you name it. You name it. They. They even danced around the Maypole once a month, wearing masks, worshiping God knows what, whites and Indians together, all going for broke. Who was responsible for all of this? Character by the name of Thomas Morton. Ah, the Hugh Hefner of the Puritans. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. I'm going to read you a quote of, of what. The Puritans thought of, of Morton's followers, debauched bacchanalians and atheists, falling into great licentiousness and leading degenerate lives. When I heard that, I packed my bags, I left <laughs> Oxford, I came straight to America, America the licentious. So what happened to all of those people? Well, the Puritans shut them down. They sent in Miles Standish, leading the militia. He chopped down the maypole, cut down those colored ribbons, banners, everything. Party was over. And we became a nation of straight-laced Puritans. Well, isn't that your point, though? The Puritans won. They stamped out all things sexual. How would you say it? Sexual happiness. Exactly. Happiness. Exactly. Until the 1960s. Until the 1960s, when it all exploded again all over the place. Right. Everyone was dancing around the Maypole. Then, <laughs> make love not war. If you remember, only a decade earlier, if you, if you wanted to have sex, if you wanted to make love in the 1950s, you had to beg for it, you had to cop a feel. Or get married. As I did in the 1960s. Any regrets? Plenty. Um, but that's our secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's just between you and me. <laughs> I think it was Betty Davis who said, old age is not for sissies. But it was Tolstoy who said, the biggest surprise in a man's life is old age. Old age sneaks up on you, and the next thing you know, you're asking yourself, I'm asking myself, why can't an old man act his real age? How is it possible for me to still be involved in the carnal aspects of the human comedy? Because, in my head, nothing has changed. Her name was Consuela Castillo, and she was my student. This course is called Practical Criticism. So, let's go right to the big question, shall we? Does War and Peace become a different book because we read it? Well, yes, of course. But why? Because we bring something to the book. We bring ourselves. And what's more, you read the book again in 10 years, it'll change again because you've changed. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I've always been vulnerable to female beauty. Miss Castillo was different. Her anyway. posture was perfect, and she dressed like a young associate of a prestigious law firm. There was a sophistication that set her apart. She knows she's beautiful, but she's not yet sure what to do with her beauty. At all, no, don't take notes, because honestly, it's not worth it. It really, don't, don't give it a thought. The work of art reminds you of who you are now. 